You're watching UNICEF Television. The children performed before guests attending the Kenya launch of UNICEF's flagship report, State of the World Children 2013, focusing on children with disabilities. To the parliamentarians, officials from the government, UNICEF and rights-based organizations, and other key stakeholders gathered, this was a clear demonstration that disability is not inability. I am a child. Give me my right. I'm here to tell you I to have a right. A right to live, a right to eat, a right to clothe, and a right for education. Thank you. More than 90 million children in the world live with disability and face stigma, discrimination, and exclusion in one way or another. The report asks society to look beyond a child's disability and instead see their ability. Like all children, those with disabilities have many abilities, but they are often excluded from society by discrimination and lack of support, leaving them among the most invisible and vulnerable children in the world. As I speak, there are children with disabilities hidden away in homes and in institutions who do not have educational, medical, and emotional care and are exposed to violence and abuse on a daily basis. The government of Kenya has made great strides in ensuring the rights of all children are respected and upheld. For children with disabilities, concerted efforts between UNICEF and the government, as well as other partners, will raise a strong voice to ensure they are not neglected or forgotten. These children, if fully supported, and given educational opportunities, we live relatively independent and productive lives, making significant contribution to national development like any other child. Kenya is amongst uh, 128 countries around the world that have signed and ratified the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. And the Kenyan government has also signed the Convention on the Rights of the Child. This means that the Kenyan government is committed to ensure that all children, irrespective of the fact that they live with a disability or not, can enjoy their rights without discrimination of any kind. The report was officially commissioned by Honorable Isaac Maura, chairman of the Kenya Disabled Parliamentarians Caucus. The event also hosted several notable dignitaries living with one disability or another, an inspiration to the young ones that they too can achieve their ambitions. And this report is a vindication of the fact that we can create our own narrative, we can tell our own stories as children, as persons with disabilities, so that we can change the perceptions, so that we can redefine ourselves in order to ensure that never again shall we be relegated to the periphery. Never again shall we just be dismissed because of the physical appearance. Never again shall we be uh, dismissed because of the way we communicate. Never again shall we be dismissed because of the way we walk. Never again shall we be dismissed because of the manner in which we perform any activity uh, uh, um, of any kind. In a culmination of the launch and a show of commitment for children with disabilities, guests signed a call to action to support inclusion at birth, in school, and in life. The State of the World Children Report hopes to increase visibility to the global, necessary, and increasingly urgent debate about disability rights, especially those of children, focusing on what those children can achieve rather than what they cannot do. This is Daisy Serem reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.